A New Hill Harris X poll asks, do you believe President Biden has accomplished more, less, or about, the, about as much as you expected since he took office in January? Let's take a look. Now, the poll found 46% of voters said Biden has done less than expected since entering office, while 23% said he's done more than expected, and roughly a third said about as much as expected. 72% of Republicans and 50% of independents said Biden has done less than expected since January, while 44% of Democrats said he's done more. Well, then 38% said just about as much as they expected. This comes as Biden is expected to sign his infrastructure bill into law on Monday. He tweeted, under my predecessor, infrastructure week was an empty promise. Now we're going to make an infrastructure decade a uh, reality. <laughs> infrastructure decade. All right, one question I wanna throw open to both of you is how much does it matter that voters perceive, like the, the amount of work compared to their expectations that voters perceive Joe Biden has actually done? Um, is that a lot of people voted for Biden because they wanted him just to sort of restore normalcy. They wanted him to not be Donald Trump. Um, so how much does this question actually even matter in terms of electoral politics um, in, in this kind of context? Well, the, the Sunday show crowd is starting to say that Biden's approval ratings are declining because nobody elected FDR. Yes. There, there's, this, the, there's this idea that the American people don't want the, the Washington to do anything. Mm -hmm. And so the, even the idea that he's thinking about and talking about doing things uh, is, is turning them off. Uh, first of all, FDR is extraordinarily popular. <laughs> like across all parties, he's got a monument. Uh, he has he has a monument. Um, mm -hmm. He's he's on the dime. You know he's, he he you know he's somebody that presidents look up to of both parties. Reagan loved loved FDR. Uh, <laughs> so this poll is interesting and in saying no, no, that 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 it actually doesn't match with with what the, with what the American people think that the, you know they actually think he's done less than he's promised. And so this is just wish casting. From uh, from a lot of pundits who don't who themselves don't like these policies and mm -hmm. don't want to see their taxes go up. What do you think, Kim? Yeah, I would say that Ryan uh, or or Emily actually, you hit on something when it comes to saying you know people wanted Biden to return us to normal, and I think that is maybe where people feel like he hasn't done enough because we're not returning to normal. We're we're actually in still sort of a state of chaos. Um, and I, I guess I'm in the minority. I actually think Joe Biden's done way more than I expected him to do at this point in office, a lot of which I don't agree with, but I still feel like he's done a lot uh, when it comes to the infrastructure package, when it comes to even mandates. I feel like Biden has actually extended quite a bit of his power in a very short period of time. But a lot of people were wanting to just go back to normal before Donald Trump. They were sick of the chaos. They were sick of Donald Trump tweeting all the time and the constant feeling of crisis. And I don't think that feeling of crisis is gone. And I think that might be what people are really saying. Oh, he's, he hasn't done enough. I feel like he's done a lot, but the returning to normal and getting us out of crisis, we're clearly not there yet. I mean, the, the man ended the war in Afghanistan. <laughs> Yeah, he did do that. He, yeah. He's, yeah, I, I, I'm with Kim. I think he's done a lot, it, right. and, and that it just yeah. depends on what people define as doing. Does does getting out of a war count as doing something right. uh, more than waging the war, like quietly while nobody in the media pays attention? And the poll is hard to parse because when you have Republicans saying that 72% of them say he's done less than they want, 
That's weird because they're used. Less must just mean negative to them. Like, what's the negative yeah, thing I, I can so. say about Biden? Well, less because yeah. more is good, less yeah. is bad. Except not in this case because you know technically you y'all should want him to do less. Right. Like I remember yeah. when Democrats would get mad at George W. Bush for uh, vacationing all the time mm -hmm. and down on his ranch in Texas. I'm like, stay there, <laughs> enjoy yourself. Go back like, to Mar-a-Lago. Yes, yeah, like destroy all all, of, all the sagebrush you want to, <laughs> and just don't do anything that you actually campaigned on doing because mm -hmm. then you're probably going to destroy the world. Instead, he went out and destroyed the world. Um, but so uh, there's there's a new Des Moines Register poll out, for, uh, and it, uh, and it shows that in a hypothetical 2024 rematch. Former President Donald Trump leads President Joe Biden in Iowa by 11 percentage points. Uh, Kim, uh, what, what do you make of this matchup? Yeah, this makes sense to me, unfortunately. I, again, as much as Trump seemed to bring chaos to America, I don't think he's brought as much chaos as people now in hindsight think he, you know, at the time thought he brought. I mean, yeah, he was divisive and yeah, he's said a lot of things that really caused a lot of media chaos, but otherwise everybody's lives were pretty much you know, ho-hum. Um, and people now don't feel that way. There's a lot of moving parts and what can you do? What can you not do? What are you supposed to go get medically? What are you, you know, there's a lot of, it, the inflation is huge. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on that I think people look back and say, actually now I'd rather just have that guy and have to put up with his Twitter account. Although, although Trump won Iowa by about eight points. Yeah. Uh, so that's sort of within the margin error, margin of error of this poll. But if if there is a national move of three points, that's enough for Trump to win. Lose a popular vote, yeah. but still win yeah. the Electoral College. No, yeah, and, and Iowa voters um, are really open to the message, actually. Um, they're, they're, right. They were open to it in 2020. Yeah, He won absolutely. comfortably. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're pretty open to the message. Um, we've also seen, you know, various, we, we've seen, like, Democrats win in, in working class districts um, over the course of the last crazy, weird last half decade. Um, think an hour is something that comes to mind. So it, that's a, I, I don't know, I think I'm really interested in that. And I know we have to wrap, but it does remind me of the conversation we had with Matt Carp about the Jacobin poll, mm -hmm. um, where Joe Biden, when he first announced his campaign, he really was speaking in a very different language. And and as the Democratic primary wore on, and now we do see him try to advance the working class message that he's at least, you know, paid lip service to for his entire career, but wrapping it in the sort of cultural leftism that is demanded by the Democratic Party today. And I think that is alienating a whole lot of people. And that could show up in 2020, um, especially in 2024, especially because Donald Trump is, has the, the instincts and the, the know-how to capitalize on it, exploit it. Um, um, and bring it up in a way that doesn't help Biden at all. Yep, that, that he does. Thanks for watching. We will have more Rising right after this.